Welcome back, one and all, to Cobalt Core. We played this for the first time yesterday as part of a sponsored segment. Now I'm here again and in a non-sponsored segment of me just playing this because I want to. So let's start a new run. Last time we played, we unlocked a new ship. The Ares, a nimble warship with two cannons. Draw less cards each turn. Seems spooky. And I definitely want to try out a Drake here. Strong attacks and status effects. Let's try Isaac, Drake, and... Dizzy? Now, I want to do a run with Perry. So let's do Isaac, Perry, and Drake. This should be an all-offense run. Maybe we lose Isaac and take Dizzy? No, let's go full offense, see what happens. I'm not sure this might is a good team, but I want to try it. Drake lists strong attacks and status effects. Will that be worth it? I don't know. I'm going to be trying on hardest difficulty here, meaning we start with very little hull and have more starter cards. With the minus draw each turn, I could see this being really bad really fast, but we'll see. We will see. So we have to take a curse as part of the starting. That's part of uh, part of this difficulty. I'm going to lose one max shield. Pick from three uncommon cards, upgrade two random cards to type B, or gain three max hull and heal three. We start with three out of six hull. That's terrifying, but I want the upgrades. Let's try the upgrades. Have I tried the FTL multiverse mod? I have. I thought it was pretty good. Basic dodge. Zero cost, evade for two, exhaust. And a parallel shift B. We can shift our drones three times. Also exhaust. Yawn. Okay, everyone, you know the drill. Uh, what's going on? Hey. Hey, intruder alert. Oh, it's you guys. Hello. Whoop, whoop. Alarm sounds. Seize the intruder. Whew. These time loops are getting weirder. Your stupid time crystal must really be doing a number on the time stream. How do you... Well, whatever. Now make yourself useful or I'm venting the Atmo and starting this loop over. Wow, that's a really FTL approach. Just threaten to throw Drake out the airlock. Not just Drake, but everybody. Did you guys know if you pull the voltage limiters out of your consoles, you can get increased weapon output? Um... We did not know that. Oh, I see. The ship is only four spaces wide. That's pretty good. So we have two cannons here. We can switch which cannon is active each turn. And the inactive cannon counts as an armored part, taking one less damage. We'll just move out of the way. Let's toggle our cannon. <clears throat> no dent in the energy reserve. Fire. Fire. And don't draw this card again. <clears throat> Get this trash out of my face. That's right. <laughs> EMP slug. Two cost. Three damage stun but applies one heat to us. Heat doesn't decay, and if we have three heat at the end of the turn, then we take hull damage. That's not great. Cancel that block gain. Heat sink, move one space to the right and lose one heat. Neat. Let's do... <clears throat> so Lunge will hit the attack drone. Not if I do it like this. I guess I could have moved the drone out of the way. That would have been easier. Oh well. This is fine.
GG. Repair kit. Destroying the repair kit will heal the destroyer's hull for two. Oh, man. Upgrades to either one cost or zero cost heal four. Oh, no, it's only heal two. Zero cost heal two, but it, de it deploys four spaces to the right. So you have to reposition to get it. That's kind of funny. I do like the idea of having some healing with how low our max hull is. Give me that. Let's see, we could go for two elites this act. Although I might want to get uh, the extra upgrade instead. Not sure. We're definitely taking one of these two elites, though. So let's start with the event. I could go two combats if I wanted to. I want an event, though. Show me what events do. My head hurts. You all again. What do you value most? Healing, damage, or evasion? We get a one-time use, super powerful card. This or Leon, I think I want the seven damage card. You can use that to get through an early elite fight or something. Sounds good to me. Yes, this game is basically FTL meets Slay the Spire. There's a lot of Spire-heavy design, um, including how relics work and what some of the relics do. You'll you'll see direct, like the Happy Flower, for example, is in this game. Although it's not a Happy Flower, it's a capacitor or something. But it does exactly what Happy Flower does, which is give you energy every third turn, and you can set that up between combats and all that fun stuff that we love from Spire. Add to that a ship-to-ship -ship combat that has a positioning mechanic, and you have a really cool game. You have Cobalt Core. I think the comparisons to FTL are are both the the fact that you're it's you're fighting one ship versus one ship, and the visual pixel art design. Mechanically, there's not a lot of similarities to FTL beyond having hull and shield. Uh, FTL was all about the location and systems. Uh, in the ship-to-ship -ship combat, which is not present here. But visually and thematically, yeah, pretty similar. Okay, toggling the cannon is going to let me pick off some drones here pretty easily. Definitely want to kill this attack drone. Although I could simply just go to the left of it. Care. I think I'll break some stuff. And that's a Mark II attack drone, which will hit for two damage once per turn. Not sure how the repair kit works if we launch it here. Let's find out. It gets it cancels it out and we heal for two. Excellent. I'm glad I science that. Having parallel shift is really good, because then we can control where the drones are, whether they're enemy drones or not. Let's put that in play. stun this uh, new thing it's launching. We only have one maneuver, though. But I can switch cannons to do that. There we go. And then I can... 
shift the drones over one and fire a multi-shot to get rid of the drone and hit again. And then let's move that out of the way to give it no more shield either. Just swap the cannons for another EMP slug. I don't think we need two ephemeral blasts here. But I might want a heat sink. Nah, we should just do two. Go for the kill here. Good fight. Get three parry cards. Fate. Move two to the left and get some shield. Multi blast. Attack twice for two. Two energy. Or power play. Lose one hull. Add one damage to all of our attacks. I wonder if that counts drone. Don't hate adding a uh, self damage card with a healing card in the deck. It's an interesting option. I've really enjoyed the writing in this game so far. Delightfully cute. And I think there's a lot more we haven't seen yet. I'm giving five lucky fans that subscribe to the channel their choice Steam game. Enter the giveaway now by clicking the link in the description. Entry ends on January 9th. I can make this one cost. This is no longer sponsored. That's right, Storm. We're playing it because we want to. Ooh, I like this version of Faint. I want Faint. I think we're going to need some more defense for this build. And we want to go up top, right? To get the extra thing? Or am I going to Elites? No. Let's go top. Get the upgrade in the event. Hey, Drake, it's your ship. Don't tell me you have an evil copy of yourself, too. Don't be ridiculous. It's just my autopilot. Hi, this is Drake. If I'm not here right now, leave a message after the beep, then die. Why does the bot have to look like you? Why not? Is that weird? It's not weird. Seems normal to me. Blush. <laughs> Anyways, I will simply deactivate the bot with my secret password. Everyone cover their ears. I'm going to say my cool, not embarrassing password now. You know what? Never mind. Let's just fight it. <laughs> well, at least it works. Okay, we can dodge out of the way here. Let's use our one-time basic dodge. Oh yeah, also our dodge is one-time use, so we really want a reusable dodge card like Faint. I also like the, the move to to either direction options. Those are fun. So let's toggle cannon, shoot it up, and then dodge. I'm starting to see the advantages of this ship now. We, we only get four cards per turn, but because we have the flexible shooting location and we have a smaller profile, we, we have a, a lot of power in those and the ability to gain armor too. We can move the cannon into line of fire. Not the attack drone, though. I think we play attack drone, corrupted core, block one. Cool. The drone can also block shots. Hmm. 
we do have EMP, EMP slug here. Good. Quite sure the best way to do this. I guess if we accept that this is going to block the shot, we can just move over. EMP slug and play the parallel shift. And we have it. I like that. And I love these jams. We can also move this out of the <clears throat> out of the way. And then we keep the uh, fire from the attack drone, but I'd rather keep the two shield here. This is probably the time to use Ephemeral Blast. Yeah. I don't want to carry this card around forever anyway. It blapped. Ooh, missile shots. Launch an object from the missile bay, a two damage missile, and attack for two. It's kind of cool. All drones and missiles instantly take a turn. What a cool power. Can upgrade that to be zero cost, too. I love that. Isaac's drone cards seem really cool. I want to try missile shot, though. <laughs> Seems like a fun offensive option. Oh, we can turn it into an acid missile with a piercing attack. Or a heavy missile three attack. Cool. That's right, all drones and missiles, not just the friendly ones. Add armor to the missile bay is kind of cool, because that means two of our locations would have armor. Um, but Stun Calibrator we saw last game is very good, meaning our second attack each turn stuns something. And we can use that to significant advantage. Let's take Stun Calibrator. Howdy! I would like to upgrade my... The MP Slug can do 5 damage for 2 heat. Or 4 for 1. If I want damage, we upgrade Missile Shot. The upgraded Attack Drone is quite good as well. 2 shot per turn. Let's upgrade Missile Shot. I want that Heavy Missile. Yeah, we're going straight up offense, not uh, piercing offense. Doesn't matter which one of these we take. Ricochet paddle. When you shoot an incoming missile, turn it around instead of destroying it. Sometimes that's good. Is anyone else getting a really bad headache? No, it's from that high-pitched static. What is that? Ah, you all again. Which of you shall I teach this time? Perry, Isaac, or Drake? I want to see Drake's cards, I think. Although, Perry is really tempting. Uh, uh, Isaac is really tempting here. For the drone cards. But yeah, I want to see Drake's cards. Attack damage equal to your missing hull. Not for this deck. Or Ventilator. Discard a random card. Draw two cards. Lose one heat. And this card is not discarded when played. Interesting. Hmm. I like it. From Hell's Heart. It's gonna upgrade to heal us. Reusable heal. Ooh. Lose all but one hull. 
Oh no. <laughs> That's a glass cannon attack. I like that. Get it in my head. Oopa. Stun and attack drone sounds good to me. This drone's name is Gary. Get him, Gary. Uh, choose... Uh, toggle the cannon. I don't want these cards. And then play this. Let's see, we miss our missile shot. That's okay. Gary, no! Gary. I'm sorry, Gary, I couldn't save you. Let's stop two of those cards. Double stun. Not sure how this works, actually. Let me find out. Do they shoot the missile, or do they die to the missile? They die. Okay. So the missile's hit before the enemy can... respond. Scoot! I think I like lunge more than scoot here. Ooh, and it can be upgraded to double shot. Lippable lunge is also really good. Take a lunge. Want more mobility for the tiny ship? We have so little hull, we have to make sure we don't get hit. Eunice! Cleo. Eunice? Eunice. Zero cost heat sink is kind of cool. Said I liked this faint upgrade. Or flippable lunges. Let's upgrade a lunge to flip. I want that mobility, like I said. Big crystal. Ah, big crystal. Sure is. Can lunge here. Make a basic shot and deploy our attack drone. That looks pretty good. Although, that would put our bay here. That's fine. Okay. So yeah, lunge, basic shot, attack drone. And this stuns. Boss has 34 health? I feel like it was 30 last time I saw it. The upgraded version of this boss has some missing segments that can't be shot. Um, in the if you're playing on normal difficulty, you can hit all of the rows of this boss. All right, multi shot can stun. EMP slug can also stun. Can't save our drone here. That's fine. Faint, we can preserve our evasion. We'll do less damage. We need to progress the damage.
don't even need to stun here, actually. Looks like missile shot parallel shift to me here. Then we can toggle our cannon to take this shot on the armored um, cannon, and it won't do any damage. So we're going to launch, take a three damage shot. The parallel shift will allow us to reposition this missile correctly, and then toggle cannon here. Take zero. We can do that again on this turn if we want to. We can just, uh, I guess I'd have to lunge. Lunge is fine. Shoot this one. Hit with a basic shot to stun it. Yeah. Stack some dodge. Do one more damage. We're halfway there. I'm good with the cannon being active as it is. Toggle cannon, then lunge. We hit this. Can basic shot and basic block. Could try getting the repair kit down, but I don't, don't feel the need at the moment. Let's just toggle cannon lunge here. I like this ship. It's got a lot of flexibility. And just the edge of this boss really can't get uh, can't get much done against us, I don't think. Neat. Very neat. So how do I want to do this? Deploy the drone, then ventilate. I think we just do basic shot, toggle the cannon. Put this thing here. One drone shift available. Let's stun this and then shift. Yes, so toggle cannon, missile shot. Multi shot. And then this will actually hit us in the cockpit for double damage. We don't want that to be the case. So we should... Let's just move here. Take one to the shield. Hmm. Three health left of the boss. We're almost there. I'm gonna take a heal this round. They can't keep up at all. This just kills. GG. Got one more max hole, now we have seven tons of max hole. Parry. Attack. Get it? Parry's parry. Attack equals the total enemy, uh, total damage of the enemy's cannon attacks. That could be quite a lot. Attack for two damage. If this kills, gain one max hull. Pillage and plunder. There's the feed card. So you can use that with the missing hull card for really silly amounts of damage. Let's see. What's the upgrade on this? Gain one either way. Piercing or one cost. One cost is much better. Serenity. Prevents heat gain. Okay. And it works for any amount of heat. So it's to be used with high heat cards, which we don't have. Let's take Pillage and Plunder. 
and we're offered three bar boss artifacts. One of them is a Drake specific, the others are generic. Let's see. We've seen simplicity, remove three cards, that's good. Glass Cannon. Gain one extra energy every turn, but your cannons... Oh yeah, Glass Cannon. That Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Become weak at the start of combat, taking one more damage from all attacks. I wonder how armor plus weak works. Or the Thermo Reactor. Gain one extra energy every turn, gain one heat each turn. Again, when we re if we reach three heat, we'll take hull damage, but we're going to be gaining hull, and we have some heat removal cards, so I really like the Thermal Reactor. Let's take Thermal Reactor. Hey, you're heckin' welcome, Daisy L. Ben. Thanks for creating this awesome game. Dev in chat alert. Daisy L. says, we can armor are mutually exclusive, so the retracted cannon should be armored. And the extended cannon should be weak. I think if I'd known that, I would take glass cannon in that position over the uh, thermal reactor. But in either case, one energy per turn is going to be huge. We haven't actually played with a four base energy run in this game yet. And I think it's going to be good. Devin chat. <laughs> oh, Devin. Don't like what the thermometer's reading. Stop sweating the small stuff. Start stunning the big stuff. Brace for overheating. Or, you know, just use the ventilator. Oh, that can uh, discard the cannon. Toggle. Interesting. Then we can get two of them in our hands. Was it hot in here? I didn't notice. the attack room. Look at that. Although we didn't... Hold on. No. I have a feed card. There it is. Bizarre. Almost forgot about it. Endless Magazine. Gain one chip shot at the start of each turn. Zero cost, attack for one. I really like chip shot with the stun calibrator. Because it's going to make it much easier to stun things. Also makes it easier to pop the repair kit, right? Give me that. Oh, I see it upgrades to not exhaust, so you can just keep, keep playing. Yeah, it's infinite blades, basically. But arguably more useful than Infinite Blades. I think stalling works better in this game than, than Spire, because of the whole evasion mechanic. That back-to-back -back elites? I want to do that. That sounds awesome. Let's go event, upgrade, combat, combat, into two elites. Bet you won't let us shuffle all your ship parts. You're right, I won't. I like my cannons on opposite sides of the ship, where they are. You gain one max hull for it, but uh, I'm not willing to do that. Absolutely not. Suit yourself, but you're never going to stop top the shape spaceship design leaderboards with that thing. Amazing. Steal some artifacts, huh? Won't happen again. Right, now we have more reason to start removing cards. Let me make sure there's not any other really good upgrades. Oh yeah, we want this to be one cost. Let's upgrade that. Oh, I see it's three damage piercing. That's a bit better. Proc 
proximity sensor tripped. Or takes more damage from attacks. I want to do basic shot here, EMP slug here, attack drone here. Okay. That's right, and whenever the ship is shot, the part that was hit gains armor for the rest of the turn. do one damage with multi-shots. You can also make them hit their own mine. All mine. That mine will be there the next turn, though. Yeah, now it's perfect. Take more than that to dent this hole. This is going pretty well. Happy to take some damage this turn and just deploy the repair kit. shot. We will heal and hit them for three. Then I can move and use pillage and plunder on the weak point to get a kill. GG. If I deploy the medkit in the, into the mine, uh, based on how other interactions have worked, I guess we would Take two damage and heal two damage for doing that. Although I'm not sure what the order would be. Good old front-loaded blast can be welcome. Don't want too many cards, given that we draw less per turn. We have to be a little careful. Skip the like fumes are really bad because of our slow draw. What we got here? Spike! Let's make this quick. I, quick, I skipped lunch, said Spike. Give me a card, huh? Let's see about that.
and just use the repair kit as a block here to block the card being added. I'm fine with that. It's there. They'll heal, but not a problem. want to do missile shots. We establish they can't hit missiles. Let's do this missile shot. Paint. Ventilator. Seeking missile. Looks like a good lunge opportunity. That seems good to me. Oh, that's right, and it turns it around because I have the uh, ricochet paddles, so now it's going to hit them for two. Good. Great, in fact. And I can make this do zero damage if I'm willing to use one evade. I'll just take the one for now. Manually click status cards to exhaust them in this game. Important thing to keep in mind. Come here. Thing. I want to feed on it. Pillage and plunder. The health bar grows. Overpower. And two damage all attacks decreasing by one each turn. Interesting. Lux. Whenever the ship attacks, it gains one temporary shield. For one turn. Okay. Upgrade it to be two. Interesting. Or shift shot. Move the enemy left rather than moving us. A thing that can reposition enemies is kind of cool. I'm going to take shift shot, I think. Although, again, I don't want too many cards here. Our low base draw makes that undesirable at the moment. Let's just remove cards. Never mind. I'll probably remove here. Bubbler! Every four Isaac cards played, we gain a bubble. So the next thing we deploy has a bubble shield. I guess deploying a repair kit with a bubble shield is not desirable. But sometimes it'll do something. That's a good reason to pick up more uh, standard stuff. Oh dear. 
Due to intense astronomical activity nearby, you and the enemy ship both gain one heat for the start of your turn. That means we're gaining two heat per turn, which is not good. This might be a good time to use the Pillage and Plunder right now. It's going to be as 24 hull. And with the nasty effect in this fight, I don't think we want to try to feed here. Flying too close to the sun. I mean, it gets us a stun this turn as well. We're wasting the card if we don't. Yeah, we should use it now. I'm not even going to bother with Heatsink. Move over one to avoid losing our shield, though. I want the dodge. It's having four heat isn't any worse than three. All right, let's get Endless Magazine in play. this to stun. Is that evade? At least the enemy will also be taking damage. Shift to make sure the missile hits. It's a good lunge turn. We can ventilate some of this heat. deal two. Repair kit's coming up next. Let's just get that uh, in play next turn. Repair some of this damage. This would be a really scary fight if I didn't have repair kit. to use the repair kit this turn. Now we can do this, though. Shoot it. Shoot it. And I can actually just move one attack prone repair kit. That'll heal me immediately. Cool. And then if we win on this turn, we don't have to deal with the heat. We can win. Right? Yeah, we just toggle the cannon and shoot. There we go. Combustion engine. Move left or right equal to your heat. Oh, that's really good. Although we're going to need more card draw. Let's take combustion engine. We can take either a Gravel Recycler, gain one temp shield every time an asteroid is destroyed, or Drone Piercer. Drones have piercing. 
I guess I'll take Drone Piercer, as I can't imagine Gravel Recycler being any good at all. There are so few fights that actually have asteroids. But here's one. Here's one. That's brittle, too. Fire! Right in your face. Stop sweating the small stuff, man. damage. Take the drone. Six damage to your face. Six more damage to your face. Alright, then ventilate. We can kill it now, of course, but uh, I want to eat it. Oh, so we can shift stuff. Okay. Oh, it's making new asteroids. So cool. The tech drone has a bubble. super angry. And here we have two toggle cannons in hand now. Kind of cool, actually. There's pillage and plunder. Get him. Excellent. Seer. Two piercing attacks. Generate one heat. With stun, wow. Obtaining sidestep. This is okay. I like the draw one version. Let's skip these, though. If you end your turn with more than zero energy, gain one shield. That would happen often enough. Or, again, add armor to the missile bay. Take the ion converter. We're definitely ending our turn without using all of our energy sometime because of the low base draw. I'm going to remove a basic card to try to help with that. I suppose I don't need basic block really at all. It's just holding me back. There seems to be a nearly infinite supply of you guys, huh? You too. No, there's only one of me. I'm the original flavor, baby. Fights evil rigs in her dreadnought. Hmm. 
Yeah, here I'm going to end with one energy, I think. See, this part is weak. I'm tempted to hit this missile bay. Not the way I want it to, though. And this is armored, actually. I'm going to keep my one evade here. Just take one damage. And we can do the same maneuver this time. Attempting to put our drone in this row, block whatever the missile is going to launch, and deal one more damage here. Although the temp shield is going to negate that, basically. We're definitely playing Endless Magazine here. So it's probably just lunge and basic shot, huh? Yeah. Yeah, just take the one. I can also move out of the way, but I'm not going to. These are just basic missiles anyway. Which I can turn around to deal two damage. Tunes are so good, though. Yeah, chip shot is basically a shiv. That's right. That's right. So just one more damage. Could move over one. It's not a bad idea, actually. I'll just focus fire here. Do a lot of damage that way. Means this shot hits my cockpit though. Hmm. I would also then have to move the missile. Or I could switch guns and turn the missile around. That's even easier. Okay, yeah, let's move one to the left. I think we'll take two, but that's fine. We have basic dodge also. I still think I want to go here. I have an EMP slug to the face. Or heat's no penalty. Toggle the gun, shoot this missile. Don't want to faint. get one shield, so we're only going to take one whole damage, plus one from the heat. Now we're through Riggs' shields. This way, go one. I uh, actually only have one attack currently. Let me fix that. This is a long enough fight.
could do some fun stuff with heatsink too, although that lines up the cockpit shot for us. I don't really want to get shot in the cockpit here. Yeah, I think the, the lifespan of this game is, is probably in the realm of a couple tens of hours. There are 18 memories to unlock, which will... So if you want the full, like, story unlock or full save file completion for the game, that'll take 18 winning runs, and that's probably around 30 hours, even if you don't lose. So that'd be my guess for minimum... Well, maybe not minimum, but for maybe average lifespan of, of this game for someone, 30-ish hours. Looks like it's going to be a fun 30 hours. Hmm. Yeah, I think we move over one. This. I think our cockpit shot is not desirable, though. Can we shoot you from your round? Toggle the cannon. That piece for bonus damage. Launch an attack drone here. Don't play heatsink? I don't think so. Well, I could do heatsink and faint, right? That would be to here. No, I don't want that either. I'll do faint heatsinks and use my evade to return to the original position. Take one more hold. This is compressible. Let's do move you here, then repair kit, then lunge, shoot the repair kit. Done this with chip shots. Take zero damage from this. Build the shields. Pretty good, actually. We can lunge, which will shoot this missile and turn it around. We've got missile shot here. We definitely want to use that. Toggle cannon and shoot this. We want to move out of the way of this shot, although we don't actually have to. Hmm. So I'm going to deal one damage and I'll have one extra shield, and I can keep the evade. This is a bubble. <laughs> okay, we have a couple of chances to draw. Chances to draw our feet here. That discard itself? Is that 
mean that I have to give up on this dream now? Gain some temporary shield though. So that could complicate matters, but I don't think it will. There's plunder and uh, pillage. We just have to do four damage. And we can do that because we can shoot the weak points. So toggle cannon, ship shots. Pillage and plunder. Boom. GG. And now we're at full health, which is 13 hull in this tiny little ship. Excellent. And there's from Hell's Heart. If we want to try... <laughs> we want to try using this, we have the option. What about freeze dry? Engine lock. This ship cannot move. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Wow. Prevent the enemy from moving for two turns. Once. Seems kind of strong, actually. I'm going to grab Freeze Dry. Right, yeah, taking the variant that brings us to one hole, the heat would probably kill us, assuredly. No way. So, a new boss artifact. Power Diversion. All non-parry card attacks deal one less damage. It's a pretty big nerf to us. Warp Mastery. Gain three shield and three evade on the first turn, replacing our warp prep. I think that's very good. Or the glass cannon is back to make the non-retracted cannon weak. But I really like warp prep here. I don't think five energy per turn is actually useful, given that we're only drawing four cards per turn. So let's take Warp Mastery. I want that starting shield and evade. That'll be useful in a lot of fights. Cicada Drone Mark III. All this pre-prepared shield means we can just focus on shooting now, yeah? Yeah. Sure does. has no weak points, huh? Can maybe cancel its buff? I don't like that idea. Yes, we can cancel the buff. Quite like that. This isn't going to do any damage. Let's use the Corrupted Core. Nice try, nerd. Attack drone. Let's move this here, attack drone. Now I can 
chip shot if I want to. Play ventilator. No, we want to draw a missile shot next turn. Let's do two shots. Just heal that one. Now we're quite durable. Yeah, let's cancel that strength buff again. I'm strength buffing for you. This is normally an enemy that buffs their strength multiple times. They haven't been allowed to on our watch. That's kind of cool. and plunder. Kaboom. Oh, upgraded ventilator. Discard two random cards, draw four. Lose two heat. I really like that. Because we're struggling to use all of our cards anyway. This is a cool barrage. Attack, move, attack, move, attack. Would a Runic Dome kind of relic be harder in this game? Oh, it'd be... Uh, Pretty tough, although you can always see where the enemy weapons are, so maybe it wouldn't be that bad. Let's go more repair yards. Removes and upgrades look great here. What upgrades do we have still? Reusable endless mag is interesting. Better attack drone could be good. Lose one heat from the combustion engine or gain two heat first. Interesting. Ventilator A is don't discard cards, just draw and lose heat. No, I think we want Ventilator B. Oh yeah, we want the freeze dry B, that's right. We wanted the two turns of engine lock, because I think that's super strong. Uh-oh, it's drill time. Weapons hot. Attack and then move. Hmm. Bit of a bummer. I guess the repair kit's a good start, right? I 
can just do repair kit corrupted core. And then get one shield. Seems like a good start. From what I've seen of this enemy, these drill attacks increase in quantity as the fight goes on, so we have to be able to deal with this thing very effectively. Or else. are going to scale up in number. Like so. Although, one by five, the armor is immune to that. The Book of Drilling, exactly. Exactly. I guess I'm not so afraid, huh? Let's lock this enemy into position for a little while here. Oh, right, that moves me. Forgot about that part. Whoops. Be careful about that. Let's try, fool. I cannot kill with pillage and plunder here. Zwoop. Let's see how this works. This should be complete immunity. Bonk, bonk. Yeah. Get wrecked. GG. You can get another missile shoot a hot compress. Heal one, gain one temp shield, gain three heat. Interesting. So we'd have to have a card that did something based on heat for this to be worth it. Yeah, so far Hardest is mostly a challenge at the start, but um, I'm willing to believe that things will change with different party compositions, especially playing without Isaac could be a lot harder. I think a Missile Shot A. I like Flex Move too. Let's lose a basic shot. Ta-da! Ah, uh, yes, this guy. So this enemy corrodes its hull each turn. This we probably can't feed. And it does tons of damage. And it has way too much health.
one has armor, but I'm going to stun it. It's going to be, again, very hard to feed on this thing. Don't expect to make it happen. lock this thing in place. Although, again, that's going to move me two to the right here, which I don't necessarily want to do. Let me toggle cannon, then. And stun the five. I'm going to be over here. I guess I'm not going to use freeze-dry yet. That's what I've decided. Missile shot time. Armor is a warning shot, that's right. EMP slug is free this round, but I do want endless mag, I do. Armor is cowardly, don't use armor. My bad. die at the end of the turn, currently. Although I am very likely to be able to pillage and plunder if I just reduce my damage output this turn. I've got one dodge. Can't hit it with freeze-dry, huh? I've done this. No, it's done this. Move this here. No. Hmm. My ventilator. But if I draw it now, it's not helping me. I'll play one ventilator. Okay. So we're guaranteed to see Pillage and Plunder next turn. There's got to be a way to do this. That involved taking damage. in it, personally. Let's 
done. Move to the right. Move the turret to the left. That would kill it, unfortunately. If the attack drone is not shooting into one of the armored cannons, it will die. Is the problem. I think that just means we can't get the feed here. The drone shoots first, and then the enemy shoots. I can lose one current health. No, there's a way to do it. There's a way I see that's acceptable. Okay, we stun here. We shoot our own drone. We move. Take four damage with three armor? I think that'll work. Yeah, because I only need to take three shots. Okay, here's the way to do it. We do... Chip shot... Basic shot. Move the drone. Basic shot. Move over and turn. We gain one armor from having an energy left over. One shield, rather. We take one whole damage to this shot. Wait, it died? I'm confused. Oh, because it increases its poison. It was 8 damage at the end of turn. Okay, well, I did all that for no reason then. That's right. My bad. Large boulders. Okay, so here's a way to make asteroids. I was wondering if there was a way to do that. That would have made the asteroid-destroying relic a lot better. And small boulder. Also asteroids. It's kind of cool, actually. I'll take large boulders, genuinely. Every five parry cards played, gain a chip shot. Or every fourth turn, gain one overdrive. I'll take the chip shot generator, especially since chip shot is itself a parry card. So that does seem as good as it sounds, right? More Daka. Every time you heal, heal for one more. Nice. That's good. Brack. He's piloting a crab. It's crab time. It's crab time, Twitchette. And once again, we got solar flare. Brack battle. All according to plan. Did you know there are over 6,700 crabs? Did you know I'm going to crack that shell in half? I love them. Did you know crabs are real? <laughs> I don't believe you. Got him. I'm gonna attack her own. Did you know I'm out of crab facts? Out? Of crab facts? Impossible. I'm very hot. Guess I'm going over here. Why don't you shoot your own guy? 
to make some boulders. One of them has a shield. Just one. Shielded Seeker Missile. Guess I'm not touching that. Plunder next turn. We'll take one more overheat damage and then we can kill it next turn. Um, also move five. I think I'm happy where I am. I'm gonna get shot for one damage, that's no biggie. Okay. Do we take two damage with six heat? Nope. You just take one for having more than three. So far, fireworks, I haven't seen anything that lets you retain or similar. Uh, no Sneko Eye equivalent either that I saw. Oh, whenever you heal, heal for one more. This works on the, the feed healing, too. The heal booster. Nice. I'll take another attack drone. Those are useful. Gonna maybe upgrade one of them before the final battle. This reminds me of fighting against you guys. Cute. Alright, I got that stupid thing. Deploy the repair kit, then deploy some boulders. I don't even need the boulders, actually. Stop the temp shields. It's fine. 
Roy's our boy. Get him, Roy. Unplayable. It's not good. are bad. Those are going to add up. do this without breaking my own attack drone. I guess I'll just break my own attack drone. Seems fine. going to kill. Not quite what I want to do, actually. Uh, so we need to kill that little drone. That might be pretty hard to... to draw through. This may not be wise. Take that! Pillage and Plunder! Boom. We get a heal for two. Well, worth it. Battalion! Launch an attack drone to the left and right and a shield drone in the middle. Cool. Give me the battalion. You could upgrade to give it another shield drone or... Two attack drone mark twos? Hell yeah. I want battalion A. Meowdy, not in front of everyone, please. Upgrade battalion. And now for our final fight. You are way too eager to get aboard the Cobalt. Don't you feel it calling out to you? Maybe a little, yeah. Alright, so here's the Cobalt. It's got 45 hull, 15 shield, and a ton of attack power. Currently we're taking zero, actually. Here's where the narrow profile of the ship is going to be really good, because there's a nice gap. With these, these twin cannons here, we can fit in these perfectly without hitting the middle cannon here. So I think that's actually really good.
Although we want to keep this side inactive. Now, toggle it, do one damage, because we stun. Get rid of this card, gain one block. Passable turn one. So it doesn't scale that much, although it does add cards over time. That's a bit of an issue for us. Middle part is weak. We move over one. Shoot an EMP slug here. Collision Blunder here also. It's gonna do damage to the cockpit, that's fine. Launch our attack room. Seems fine. You know how to use that thing. Make this missile shot count. Can't lunge and endless magazine and missile shot though. So I have to really commit. And again, if I use the cannon here, then the missile is missing. So maybe I just accept that missile shot is not getting played. And I play lunge, combustion eng engine, endless mag. Two Shanes, thanks for the eight months. And the shoutouts. Of course, that means I can't stun this, right? Which I think means we just want to move over here. Oh, but we get ship shot immediately. Actually, then I can stun it. I move over one and then lunge, ship shot. We'll do a bunch of damage. We can move over one and just take one. This gets negated. So yeah, we should use Combustion Engine to reduce the heat further. Or I can dash the other way and also take one. That'd be more towards the middle. Do that. Get one shield, take one damage. Again, the narrow profile of the ship really helping us here. Here's the battalion, so we deploy combat, shield, combat. So we'd want to stun this first. We can multi shot, chip shot. It makes this a pretty safe space to stick around. So we do have a chance at freeze draw here, but that would require moving a place I really don't want to move. Let's not play freeze dry. We're gonna play, yeah, multi shot and battalion. So, is the plan to just tickle their armor for the rest of the fight? Yeah, kind of. We're gonna get shield, too. Poor drone. Crash! Tactron Mark II, no! Uh, we can use a ventilator, maybe. There's a lot of trash in my hands. I don't really care about sending this. It's just ventilator. Okay, launch an attack drone with shields. Or ventilator again. Get rid of this heat. Let's do that. 
Okay, here's Parallel Shift. So we can save our attack run if we want to. Play Basic Dodge, play Parallel Shift. We don't draw those again. this attack drone safe? Not really anywhere, huh? I guess we want to move them all to one side, and then we can dodge twice. Although currently we don't have to maneuver at all, which I kind of like keeping our evasion. Just letting this happen. That's also fine. Look at heat sink. That's concussible, too. This is actually a really good uh, attack drone deployment. Or we get rid of a trash. Also acceptable. Yeah, let's lose a trash. keep this thing alive to do damage. Let's hit the middle for lots this turn. We can do quite a bit with the EMP slug multi-shot here. We can get our chip shot back too. Boom. And I'd rather take one damage and have this attack drone stick around too. We shoot this heavy missile, it'll hit the enemy for four damage in the current location. That's freaking sweet. Oh, I can do some awesome stuff. Okay, check this out. Toggle the cannon. Chip shot the heavy missile. Um... No, not quite, huh? Yeah, chip shot the heavy missile. We want to move things over one. Now this missile shot won't work the way I wanted it to. That's fine. It's still pretty good. not how I was supposed to do that. Oops. It's currently dealing with four. Doesn't feel good. This is better. Use a trash. Yeah, shooting my own drone was not intended, though. Gonna take more than that to dent this hole. Two health labs. 
feet combustion engine, that's effectively the same thing as just staying where I am. GG! You are growing stronger! Drake, learn a memory! You can see our entire time streams, right? I see all. So you know I'm not a good person. Why save me? Your fate is tied to the others. Oh, I get it. You're so far above our plane of existence, you don't even understand good and evil. That's lame. You misunderstand. I already tried to discard your time stream into the void. I was unable. Damn. All right. We have unlocked memory one for Drake. 